terms of these two set up, the one on the left is your before. Yeah. The one on your right now is your after. Now, the blue line basically equates to your shaft plane. Yeah. And the green line we discussed, obviously, your swing plane, okay? If we look here as you go back on the left-hand side, and that club goes back halfway, you can see that club sticking out there, way outside, very steep. Very steep. Chopping up. Now, that's basically a sort of uh, axe chopping So tank. obvious there. When you it? see that, you can see, okay, we compare that to this move here now as that club goes back. Look at the club now between the green and the blue line. I'll even zoom in so you can see it. See the club there? Yeah. Yeah. Much better angle. So you're swinging now what we call under plane or on on plane, I suppose, with the right yeah. way. So the club, when it goes back now, you get to your halfway back position. Look at those two halfway back positions. Yeah. One's a vertical golf club. One is on a 45 degree angle facing the golf ball. Yeah. Yeah. So the club then starts coming back down through this left hand one now because you're chopping down. You're coming way outside the line. Your swing path, as we said, is way to the left. So all your energy now is going straight down and left. Okay, if we watch this one on the right now as the club comes back in, okay, I just do that there, I'll send it to you anyway, but you'll see that, how the club now is kind of tracking in yeah. inside, inside to out to square and around your body, yeah. not <laughs> chopping into your left yeah. leg. As you swing then through the ball and sail around the driving range. On the other side, the other good thing, look at the extension of that green line. What's on the end of that? It's your golf club. Yeah. So you're swinging on a perfect plane there as well. So yeah. you created that circle above your head here and then just leant down to the golf ball and made the same movement around here. That and the, and the wall one there. The wall drill will be a good drill. So when you do that, it's three parts. Find your distance from the ball first. It's number one to the backswing. Two, find the ball. Just sort of like forearm and just let your arms drop and then let the club fall down for three. And don't try and rush it by going... or follow through and clatter the wall on the other side because as you rotate through... You hit the wall, okay? So it's, it's just feel it, that one feel to the top. Coming down on the inside. Yeah, exactly. One to the top, feeling a little more around your body anyway. Yeah. Two, find the wall. Three, drop it down. Because when that club swings on a better angle, okay, we get much more efficiency with our strike. The ball's going to be going further with less effort. Because yeah. when you said the pass before, you try to hit the ball harder, it just wasn't going far enough. And the harder you hit it, the more pain on the back you put, the more jump you had on it, That's it. and the weaker the ball's going to go. Yeah. So. Yeah. Does that kind of make sense, Harry? Yeah, yeah. So I'll send this through to you anyway, so you'll be a bit, of a bit clearer image on the screen when you get home. But you can see that just when they discuss it, how the arms are working a bit better around your body. Yeah. It's just more efficient swing. That's what you've got to try and do. So start with a vertical club, swing it around your chest, lean down, lean down, yeah. till you find the ground. And there's a difference between hitting the grass and hitting the ground. The club has to make that crunching of the ground, not the top of the grass. Top of the grass is the top. And that's the best thing people say, oh, my practice swing feels great, Gareth, when the ball gets there, it's terrible. Sometimes the practice swing isn't as good as we think it is because you're just catching top of the grass and if yeah. the ball gets there, you are hitting top of the ball. So. I, I felt it was okay, you see, but yeah, you're right. Exactly, yeah. everyone falls in that trap and stuff. And again, the only feedback you get from a practice swing is, well, have I sort of twisted through and finished in balance? Okay, well, you probably have. Yeah. But where's the club at the ground? Has it made contact with the right bit of ground? Is it too far this way, too far there, too far there, too far there, too high, too low? We don't know. The ball gives you that feedback. So, yeah. okay, okay. That makes a lot of